Hey, church family, you know, we're going to do something a little bit different for a while here. For the next week, uh, I'm going to have some different leaders and staff members, elders in the church who are going to share uh, just from their daily devotion with you. And so whatever God has laid on their heart, they're going to just share a quick video and we're going to post that on our social media. And, and I hope that you'll be blessed by it and challenged by it to jump into the word yourself. Well, today I'm going to read from Proverbs 24, verses 23 through 26. Uh, this is just simply my soap that uh, has hit me uh, kind of deeply today. It says, here are some further sayings of the wise. Uh, it is wrong to show favoritism when passing judgment. A judge who says to the wicked, you are innocent, will be cursed by many people and denounced by the nations. But it will go well for those who convict the guilty. Rich blessings will be showered on them. An honest answer is like a kiss of friendship. Uh, that just kind of grabbed me. Uh, an honest answer is like a kiss uh, of friendship. You know, uh, we live in a society where we tend to value um, more how someone feels about what we say, what's said to them or about them, rather than valuing the truth of what is said or not. Um, and I think it's affected us more than we realize. Let me give an example. If we, if we see a friend headed down a possibly sinful or at least just an unwise path, um, are we going to say something or not? I think if not careful, we will choose to just not offend them. And then the end, the result is we'll just be silent. Um, that is a really common thing in society. And uh, you know, isn't being silent lying, though? I mean, never are we called to be truthful and just be a jerk, obviously. Um, the Bible has a lot to say about that, but uh, I don't want to be a liar through my silence either. You know, showing favoritism to another person is just not at all what God has called us to do when it comes to truth. Uh, um, you know, it's more comfortable for a moment, but when it comes down to it, uh, it's more damaging in the long run. So what I say to another poor person is just important. Let me take this a little deeper. Um, would you prefer to hear the truth that makes you uncomfortable or a lie that makes you feel affirmed? Don't answer too quickly. Stop for a moment. Take a moment just to be honest uh, if you value feeling affirmed more than hearing the truth, that's a dangerous way to live. Um, maturity is never going to occur that way. And so here's my application um, that I hope you'll also apply. I want to be an honest friend to those around me. In fact, I'm going to choose today to speak the truth in love. I'm not going to be harsh. I'm not going to be ugly about the truth. Uh, the Bible has a lot to say about that, as I've already mentioned. Um, but uh, when it comes down to it, I'm going to even go deeper than that. I'm going to reflect on my attitude, and I'm going to stop and just ask God, what areas of my life are areas that I am maybe a little shut off to your truth then? How's God been wanting to maybe speak to me that I've just kind of pushed it off or ignored? And so I'm going to choose to be a friend, but I'm also going to be one who listens to the truth. And so, you know, here is just my prayer. And let me just pray this for you. Dear Lord, you have been so patient for me and you've been patient with each person listening. Thank you for, thank you for showing me grace when I've been stubborn, when I've ignored you and uh, things that you've spoke to me through friends, family, through your word. God, thank you for just bringing it back over and over again. I want to change any offensive habit, word, or action that um, that's a part of my life. And so fill me with your truth, fill me with your Holy Spirit, and form in me the heart that you want me to have and to display and that you want me to live out. Thank you for loving me enough to tell me what I need to hear not just what I want to hear. I'll shine into my heart and out in my life to those around me. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, I'm sharing this today with you because it's so important when God convicts me of something, when he convicts you of something, that we pass that on to somebody else. Hey, have a great day. God bless you.